our overarching goal is to be transformative in research, training, and clinical care delivery. And nobody in the country is better positioned to do that than Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. So when patients come to us at Children's, they have access to nation's leading institutions. We are at the precipice of becoming one of the international players. Georgia Tech is one of the nation's most renowned technical universities that's really dedicated to creating cutting-edge technologies for all aspects of life. So what we bring here at Children's is patients and diseases that they can directly apply their technologies for. My laboratory is an engineering lab in which we make new technologies to study and diagnose diseases such as sickle cell disease. Recently, we were awarded an NIH grant to study the viscosity of sickle cell disease. Now, it turns out in kids with sickle cell disease, their blood actually doesn't flow as well as a healthy person's. So their blood literally flows slower. So using our microchip technologies in which we can flow in blood, we can actually study how sickle cell blood mixed with normal blood can change the way this viscosity improves. The Health Sciences Research Building is truly an amazing physical space to conduct basic science and translational laboratory research. My research program is focused on pediatric HIV infection. HIV is still a very prevalent problem in the pediatric population. There are over 150,000 new HIV diagnoses in children less than 15 each year. Uh, just to put it in perspective, that's about one every four minutes. We are aiming to develop strategies to cure pediatric HIV infection. Ready, set, go! We were faced with this tidal wave of children with concussions that we had to manage. We knew that somewhere, somehow, we'd be looking at research. Research was key. We wrote a paper documenting the logistics, if you like, of how we implemented a concussion program in the community, how we made the community pediatrician central to the management of concussions in a metropolitan population. The bottom line is that we improved the mortality by 40%. A child coming into children's before initiation of the committee's guidelines had a much greater chance of dying versus after initiation of the guidelines by a factor of 40, 40%. Our biggest promise is our ability to retain and recruit some of the finest researchers, clinicians, and trainers. Together, we're all committed to making children better today and healthier tomorrow.